Greetings. Yo, the black light. Now, the previous video was called uh, Open Up Your Third Eye. You know, use your inner visions to be Satan. Everybody not going to be able to open up their third eye and run across this video. But the melanated people, the carbon melanated people, also known as black people, brown people, are going to be the ones who, in this season here, become an age of Aquarius, the dawning of the age of Aquarius, where the serious sun is getting closer to our sun and that melanin is going to open up that third eye and you're going to and you got to eat right try to eat the right proper foods and think right now What's going on on YouTube is you got a lot of brothers beefing with one another. We done went off beating up on the beast, on Satan, on the Illuminati, which is mostly white people, Caucasian. And we done start hitting hard on each other. Well, we are separating the the wheat from the shaft. We're, we're separating the weight, the, the fake, or the brothers and sisters who won't transcend their, their thinking and want to pray to a white, white God. This right here is the council of, of uh, Nicaea. And this is where they changed the Bible up at. Use trickery. This is where the Jews merged in with the Christians. You notice that the Christians and the Jews they don't have no problems with one another too much. The Catholics and the Jews, they don't have no problems. Matter of fact, in the United States, they, they uh, send uh, Israel, the Zionist Israel, money all the time. Big money. I ain't talking about no little chump change. And the money's coming off the backs of the grassroots. But the Caucasian white white guy, he don't have no problem with it. Now you know the uh, Ku Klux Klan. They don't like the Jews. Because they knew the Jews was going to take over take over the running of America like they did over in Spain. The Jews took over the running of Spain and so the Christians started hooking up them inquisitions. But the Jews were so slick that, you know, they, they say they changed their name, but they didn't change their game. They changed their name to Christians. So they wouldn't get, you know, slaughtered, tortured. But the Moors, by them being black, you know, they couldn't change up. You know, because the Moors was running the joint first. So... The uh, Jews merged into the the Catholics, 
Now, how did all that happen? Well, you know, the Library of Alexandria, when they, uh, the Greeks and the Romans acquired their knowledge, uh, they stored all the uh, books in the Vatican, the ones that they didn't burn up. They say they didn't burn up, which I don't believe. But now you got three city-states, independent countries, running the whole planet. The Vatican, London, London, the country of London, and now you got uh, uh, the United States. So if you patriotic to if you're a Christian and you patriotic to that flag, that means you down with the devil. Now this right here is Nevada the Nevadican. This right here is the London. District of Columbia, D.C., but really, you know, it's the, it's the whole United States, you know, but D.C. controls District of Columbia. This is really, it's its own nation within a nation, you see, and when Elijah Muhammad, young Elijah Muhammad was talking about being a nation within a nation, he was trying to show the black, the black man and woman that Really, we can be a, a nation within a nation and not a part of the United States. We can have our own nation, but with our own uh, money and our own everything. This is the reason why they're having a hard time with uh, uh, Islam being over in the United States. Because Islam runs by Shia law, see. But the main thing is the money system. They don't have interest in the money. And this is the main thing. So, but they then other Muslims like Turkey and, and uh, Saudi Arabia and Syria and Iran just trying to hold on to a real Islamic uh, Sharia law, but the uh, the rest of the rest of them, you know, the rest of the uh, Muslim countries are dealing with or bowing down to. The empire of the cities. Now, I heard a brother say that uh, Nation of Islam wasn't real Muslims. Well, not no more. They, you know, we gonna get into this. I'm gonna really explain what's really going on. The original Muslim is a, is the black man. The original man. He's the original Muslim. He's the original Christian. He's the original Hebrew. All this was all this was over in uh, all this knowledge was in in uh, Egypt, where Alexandria, the Library of Alexandria, is at, and. We're going to connect. We've been connecting. We've been building on this. We're going to show you who killed Nipsey, who killed Malcolm, who killed King, everybody else, Kennedy.
and you just got to be patient and once we show you this drop this this information on you can't nothing stop your third eye from being open And we'll run that on you on a later day too. But you got to know who your enemy is. And you got to know the kind of wisdom they're working with in order for you to cut the head off of your enemy. Why men with dark intentions destroyed the library of Alexandria by Arjun Walia Ancient civilizations are a fascinating topic and it is clear that we have so much to learn from them when it comes to our way of life, our health, our technology, science, nature, consciousness, and the nature of reality itself. Understanding these rhythms and cycles of time helps us to understand that our modern civilizations are not the first to emerge, nor are they necessarily more advanced than the previous ones that have come and gone. Be it information in the form of written texts or advanced ancient structures, like the Kailas Temple, one of 32 cave temples and monasteries located within the Ellora Caves in India, their knowledge, how they acquired it, and how they constructed their masterpieces remains a complete mystery. This is black light. We're going to continue this. So don't go nowhere. Press that like button. Give me motivation. So I can show you uh, at least where I'm coming from. You want to see the whole picture of what I'm talking about. Press that light. And I guarantee you, you're going to be the smartest one in your area.